this video, we're going to look at multiplying and dividing rational expressions, and the same problem. Now, we know to divide, we have to multiply by the reciprocal. So after we do that, we really just have a big multiplication problem. And we know to multiply, we have to divide out common factors and then multiply what's left across. Which means, in order to divide out common factors, we also know we must first find the factors. So when we look at a problem like x squared plus 3x minus 10 over x squared plus 6x plus 5 times 2x squared minus x minus 3 all over 2x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x 8x plus 20 over 6x plus 15, we start by getting rid of the division because we know that to divide really means we multiply by the reciprocal of that next term. So let's keep everything else the same. x squared plus 3x minus 10 over x squared plus 6x plus 5 times 2x squared minus x minus 3 over 2x squared plus x minus 6. And now instead of divide, it's times the reciprocal 6x plus 15 over 8x plus 20. Now that it's a big multiplication problem, we're ready to factor so that we can try and divide out the common factors. So the first numerator with x squared, we know it's x times x. And because that's 1x squared, we want two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to 3. 10 is 2 times 5, and if the 5 is positive and the 2 is negative, we get that positive 3 over in the denominator. We know to get the x squared, it has to be x times x. We want to add to positive 5, which means they have the same sign. I'm sorry, multiply to 5 and add to 6. 5 is 5 times 1, and if they're both positive, that does add to 6. Times, in the second fraction, no common factor. So we start looking for the binomials. To get 2x squared, it has to be 2x times x. Negative 3, they have different signs to get the negative 3. We know 3 is 3 times 1. Let's see if that works to give us negative 1 in the middle. 2x on the outside, 3x on the inside. We can get negative 1 in the middle if it's negative 3x plus 2x. So we want negative 3 and plus on the part that gives us the 2x. Oops, deleted too much there all over, no common factor to get 2x squared has to be 2x times x, 6, maybe 3 times 2, hopefully to get positive 1 in the middle, again different signs because of the negative, so on the outside we have 4x and on the inside we have 3x. To get positive 1, we want positive 4 minus 3. Minus 3, positive on the outside. And then finally, the last polynomial, always starting with a GCF. 6x and 15 are both divisible by 3. Leaves us with 2x plus 5. No exponents, so we're not going to do any more factoring. 8x plus 20, those are both divisible by 4. Leaves us with 2x plus 5. And we finally have it factored. Now we're ready to identify the common factors that can divide out. Um, let's see. x plus 5, numerator and denominator. 2x minus 3, numerator and denominator. Always taking one from the top, one from the bottom. There's an x plus 1. There's uh, 2x plus 5. I think that's all that we have that matches identically. So in the numerator, we'll put the number first. 3 times x minus 2 over, in the denominator, we have a 4 times an x plus 2. And this is our final simplified reduced result. 
Let's try another example where we go through that exact same process, factoring and then reducing. Of course, first in this problem, you see the division. We can't do division. Instead, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of that second fraction. So everything else staying the same, x squared minus 1 over x squared minus x minus 6 times 2x squared minus x minus 15 over 3x squared minus x minus 4 times the reciprocal now, which is 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 over 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. Now that it's all multiplication, we're ready to find that common factors by factoring. In the numerator, x squared minus 1, you should already be thinking factoring tricks. That's a difference of squares. It's going to factor to the sum and difference of the square roots. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 1 is 1 over no common factors, so we go right to the guess and check. x squared is x times x. Negative 6, so they're going to have different signs. 6 is maybe 2 times 3. To get negative 1, multiply to 6, add to negative 1. Only works because there's a 1 in front. We want a positive 2 and a negative 3. Times the second numerator. No common factors, so we jump right to the factors. To get 2x squared, it's 2x times x. 15 might be 5 times 3. Let's see if that works. Again, different signs to get negative 1 in the middle. We've got 6x and 5x. That can give us negative 1 in the middle if the 6 is negative and the 5 is positive. Positive 5, negative 6. In the denominator, to get 3x squared, it's going to be 3x times x. And negative 4, so we want different signs. We might try 2 times 2 to get negative 1. That gives us 6x and 2x. That's not going to work for negative 1. So why don't we try 4 and 1 instead? 4 and 1. So now we've got 3x and 4x, and now we can get negative 1 if the 4x is negative and the 1 is positive. Times the next polynomial, no GCF again, so we jump right to the factors. 3x squared is 3x times x. Negative 8, ah, maybe 4 and 2. Negative, so we want one positive, one negative. So we've got 6x outside, 4x inside to get positive 2, positive 6 minus 4, minus 4, positive 6. And then in the denominator, 2x squared is 2x times x, and we want to get 5. Well, that's probably 5 times 1, if not 1 times 5. Again, different signs because of the negative. So on the outside, 2x. On the inside, 5x. Can we get positive 3? Yes, 5 minus 2, so minus on the outside, positive on the inside. And finally, after all that work factoring, now we get to the new stuff, which is simply to divide out common factors. We see an x plus 1 in both numerator and denominator. We also see an x minus 1. There's also a 2x plus 5. There's also an x minus 3. There's also 3x minus 4. And there's also x plus 2. Everything divides out. When everything divides out, what's left? Well, remember, we're dividing. Anything divided by itself is 1. So if everything divides out, there's a 1 left in the numerator. There's a 1 left in the denominator. We have 1 over 1, which in this case reduces to 1. 1 over 1 is not reduced. We have to reduce it all the way to just 1. So for multiplying and dividing to the same problem, it's just a big repeat a long of a longer version of the same process. Factor and divide out common factors.